Hi guys! So this is a little bit of a different environment. Usually you find me sitting somewhere on my bed or at a desk when I talk to you about YouTube, but here we go. I am going to show you today how to make this beautiful cosmopolitan cake. I'm going to make it with you. And it is from the Domestic Sluttery book, which is an awesome book, by the way. So, here we go. I'm going to put some music on because I love to do everything with music. And here we go. So, the recipe says to preheat the oven to 350, which I've already done back there. And we're going to cream together some butter and some sugar. So, I have two sticks of salted butter at room temperature. Pretty room temperature. We're going to put them in the mixer. And then I have one and a quarter cups of caster sugar in my bowl. Alrighty. So we are going to cream together until fluffy. So let's see how long it takes to cream. So that's what my mixture looks like. I'm just going to push it down a bit just to get the um, mixture in the bottom. Alrighty, so it says lightly beat four eggs in a separate bowl. So that's what I've done. It's hard to kind of see eggs, but there are eggs in this bowl. Lightly beaten them. Then gradually add to the butter mixture. So I'm going to put it back down. Okay, so I'm going to show you what my mixture looks like now. I'm actually listening to the Hot 100 radio on Django Radio. If you're curious as to what my playlist is today, that's what I'm listening to. So that's what the mixture looks like. It's kind of creamy, kind of liquidy. So, now, it says, I'm going to put this to the side for just a minute. I'm actually going to take the beaters and put them away because I don't... No, I'm just folding in so I can do that with my own spatula here. Or the cleaner spatula. So I'm just going to put this to the side. And what it says to do is to sieve together the flour and baking powder. So I have a whole new bowl and I have our sieves. And I'm adding... Two cups of self rising flour. And then one teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, this is a totally new package of baking powder. So, I'm just going to do this way better. So, it says pour, oh, then fold the zest and flour into the wet ingredients. So, what, they're, what zest they're talking about is I to zest an orange and two limes. So, this is my zesting accomplishments. I'm going to add that to the flour. Clear out all the plate just because you kind of want all the flavor in there because it's going to make it taste really good. So, I'm going to add this in. 
to my wet mixture. And folding is just nice and gentle. So, this is what the dough looks like. I can kind of see some faint orange and a lot and green streaks, which means the lemon, I mean the lime and the orange made it in there. So, I'm going to get two pans. I'm going to get two circular I believe these are eight, these are nine inch, I believe, these pads. Ding. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my spray. Spray my pan, pans, not pan, my pans. So split the mixture. What I like to do is I actually like to um Physically split it, like cut an imaginary line in half. Two pans of dough. And then it says bake 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm going to put them in the oven now. Cooking time, 30 minutes. I always start at the lowest time just so that I'm going to go into the higher. So I've started that. So the next thing we're going to do is make the syrup. So I'm excited for that. went off as you can hear which means the cakes should be ready I'm gonna check them and see so we're gonna put on our handy dandy corn oven mitts that have probably seen better days but they still keep your hands nice and cool I promise ah so here's cake number one Oh, and I think I overfilled cake number two, but that's okay. Here is cake number two. So I'm going to let them cool right there. And we are going to make the boozy syrup, they call it. So what this means is I have to mix half a cup of sugar in this nice pan. Half a cup of sugar. With half a cup, half a cup of water and I'm gonna add a touch more just because I didn't fill it all the way to the rim just so that it wouldn't spill on the counter so I have about a little bit left so that's good so we're going to put this on high and I'm going to stir it until it boils so I'm back and my water and sugar mixture has started boiling so it says to let it boil for five minutes and then take it off the heat. I'm not going to make you watch me stand here for five minutes and me watch this boil. I just wanted to update you on the progress of the syrup and what you're supposed to do next. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds or a few minutes. Depends on who you are. For me, five minutes. For you, two seconds. So quick update. Um, the... Five minutes has passed and I took the syrup off the heat and I'm cooling right now. After, I'm going to add two tablespoons of citron vodka. Um, I have absolute 
Citron. Um, I don't buy vodka and I don't buy the next thing either, so this was new for me. Um, it is triple sec. And I'm going to use this in the syrup and in the icing, so it's going to be a very liquory cake, more so than normal. So yeah, just another update. We'll make the icing next. Hi guys, another update. Um, as you can see, one of the cakes is actually out of the pan, and this is actually on the serving pan. And it's kind of, you can't really see the floral detail because it's under the cake, but it's there. Um, just a couple of things. I flipped this over, as I'm going to show you with another, the next one onto another plate. But one of the most reassuring sounds in the baking world is when you flip your cake and you leave it for about 2-3 seconds and all of a sudden you hear the thud. Which means you did a oh, good job greasing and your cake came out of the pan in one piece. Yay! <laughs> So what I'm doing is I flipped it over to let it cool, and this is the more this is the flatter side, so that's why I wanted to have it up. And then what I'm going to do is it, uh, it's also a lot softer and a lot more porous, which which means that when I poke holes in it to put the syrup, it's actually going to drink it up. It's not just going to um, sit on top of the crust and be like, oh, well that was fun. So I'm going to do that, and I'm quickly going to demonstrate how we're going to how you get a cake out of a cake pan a really fun way. For me, if I could do this for an hour a day, it would be really fun. And if it actually had purpose, not I'm just making cakes for nothing. But if someone asked me, said, "This is your job. You have to put cakes out of their tins," I'd say, "Okay," because the flipping and the hearing of the ping is a really cool sound. So one second. So what you do is you take a plate that's bigger than the pan and you have your pan here you flip the plate you put it over top and you grasp the lip of the um, cake tin and then what you do is you grab it like this and then you flip it over I just heard it it came out even before I waited two three seconds as I was flipping it was like Shoot! okay I'm over so let's see if it came out in one piece do you think it did I don't know ready one two three oh <laughs> and it's clean! Yay! For grease. Okay, so, and I can see little flecks of orange, and I saw little flecks of green in this one. So the um, zest made it through. Yay! So I'll see you in a second. Hello, hello friends. So the syrup has cooled to a syrupy consistency. So I'm going to show you that I'm going to actually add the alcohol and not just fake add it. I'm going to take my pastry brush, dip it in my syrup, get it all lathered up, and drench it all over my cakes. Done and done. Okay guys, so we're going to make the icing now. Um, if anyone noticed and was curious, I did forget to fork the um, cakes before I laid on the syrup. I just remembered I went back and I forked them and then syrup them one more time. So they're going to get two doses of syrup. Yay, double the booze. Um, <laughs> So what we're going to do that now is make the buttercream icing and what it asks for is two sticks of unsalted butter. I couldn't find individual sticks so I just used half of like um, uh, a bigger log and just cut those in half so they're kind of two bricks kind of. So we're going to put that in there and then it says to beat the butter. So thank goodness I did my dishes or else I wouldn't have had all of these things ready to go. So I'm going to use my handy dandy sifter with four and third cups of icing sugar. It seems like a lot of sugar, but I think you have to put um, icing in the middle of the cakes too, so it does make sense. It's not like, and it's not like you're feeding one person with this amount of sugar. That is the messiness of icing sugar. 
this is what we're looking at. A whole bowl full of snow. Um, okay, yeah. So, what we're going to do is add, I have about, mm, about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of cranberry sauce. And I'm going to add to that uh, three tablespoons of triple sec. Again, like I said, the triple sec makes another appearance. And then you mix these together. And you have a nice liquidy cranberry sauce. I used the whole berry. I didn't want to use the jelly, so I used the whole berry. I'm really excited for it. That's what it looks like. Best part. Licking the icing beer. Mm. Very icing sugary. Um, so much so, I don't know if I'll use as much next time, but very icing sugary. Not that I'm complaining. So, I'm going to put some in the middle because this one has kind of a dip. So, in order to level that out and make the cake super awesome, I'm going to put some in the middle. Here is the cake. It's pretty much leveled off now with the icing. Um, so I'm going to transfer, I'm just going to tip this camera so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm going to transfer this cake on top of this cake. Cross your fingers that it actually makes it safe. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So it, I actually don't mind that they're not even, I'm, my family's not that crazy. So yeah, I'm going to icing the rest of this and then show you how I'm going to finish it off by decorating it and then it's going to be done. So I icing it, the whole cake. I missed a, spot, a couple spots, but that's okay. It's kind of dirty iced as the cake shows call it. And then I cut some oranges into halves and then just splayed them across the top. So I think mine looks pretty comparable to the picture. Mine's a little shorter, but I think that they use the three, not the two. You're, you are allowed to use um, three cake pans, cake layers if you wanted to. I just used two. So I hope you guys enjoyed the cake making experience. The icing is good. Um, yeah. I'm just going to actually just take a quick bite. Let me find a fork. There's one. I'm going to be sneaky and try a bit of it. Oh, it's all messy now. Great. <laughs> so there's a bite of it. Mm. It's very good. There is a bit of a crust. But it's okay. Very good cake. Very good summary cake. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you try it. I'll put the recipe and the ingredients in the description bar. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I will. Bye.